the chicane's going to be the worst place to catch other cars. I knew I couldn't keep it in. I knew I couldn't. This video is brought to you by Bruffy.com. This is my website where you can find all the info you need about me and my content from a fully documented catalogue of my videos with chronological playlists, two live streaming plans and much, much more. Go straight there with a the link in the description and pinned comment. Yeah, don't go full blue flags either. You just hold your line. You don't need to let people pass as a regular Torero, but... Don't actively defend the first time around. When it's for position, the second time around, you definitely can defend. All right, so the regular Toreros are gonna go by once, and then the XOs can all line up on the grid. It'll be nine minutes for the Torero XOs. We're gonna go, as soon as the timer hits nine minutes, that's two minutes 30 after the regular ones, we will go, there'll be no sticky bomb, it would just be at nine minutes on the timer. And we can grid up once the regular Toreros have gone past us. Might be a little tight. I didn't think about the field spread. I have to be grinning up pretty quick. Don't faff about. All right. Nine minutes on the timer. We will go. Everyone's so close. Oh, I got a terrible start. Here we go then. I haven't actually driven the Torero XO around here, so this is going to be interesting. I've driven an adder though, so it's about the same thing. Two and a half minutes back. 18 laps. Will we catch up? And if we do, how far up the order will we get? Ooh, that's one hell of a takeout. I don't know whether it was a takeout or a mistake originally, but... Bloody hell. Maybe it was instant karma. Lots of crashes early on. <laughs> So I'm up into second already for the XOs. We got some quick people in this lobby though, so this probably isn't gonna last. <laughs> but keeping it clean has helped me once again. We got some quick people in the regular Toreros as well, so it's gonna be interesting to see how well, um, how well we just do in general against the regular Toreros. It's meant to be an even race in terms of the gaps that have been set out between the cars based on their relative performances. Over 18 laps, two and a half minutes head start for the Toreros makes it about even. Coming up to the first of the regular Toreros already, that's gonna be a, have an impact as well, lapping other cars. It's always got a Beautiful top speed though. Oh, the chicane's gonna be the worst place to catch other cars. I knew I couldn't keep it in. I knew I couldn't. I didn't really have a choice of where to go. I was hoping he was gonna pull in to the left a bit more, but it didn't happen. I just got run out of road. Oh well. 
I said this race wasn't going to go well for me and it's already happened. <laughs> So I've had a crash that always puts me on the back foot. What can I realistically hope for in a fairly decently stacked lobby like this? Maybe a top 10 after a crash like that? I know we always say top 5 is always possible, but I already think that that's gone. So this is passing them all for the first time. This isn't for position. Next time we come around to pass the regular Toreros, it will be for position. And it will most likely be in the closing stages of the race as well. I'm kind of having to learn how to drive the XO as well around the track. get my practice with the XO like others did. Because I don't own the car on Xbox. So I feel like I'm going to get quicker as the race goes on. Couldn't avoid. Even if he stayed where he was and didn't go forward, I wasn't avoiding that. to the lead of the regular Toreros and the race overall for the moment. I guess we're going to be coming up on that battle soon enough. I don't know how far up the uh, order we are of the regular Toreros, but there's, I think there's more regular Toreros than there are Exos. How you meant to take that corner? <laughs> oh, that was close. It's a friggin' death trap that chicane. The speed difference, though. X 
Axel's top end is so good. This car in general is just so good. So much fun to drive. Without the spoiler bonus, it's just great with that top end. I'll have a look at the order once I've got past the to regular Terreros fully. I think we're getting close to the lead group. Catching this XO in front of me as well. That mistake really cost me. And that is the leader of the regular Terreros, De Specky Legend, I think. I haven't seen anyone else move into first place after he did. So that's the running order. In the lead of the Exos is F50 with Mio in second. So I'm in fourth place of the Exos. So top 10 is probably possible. I'm chasing down third in the Exos. I've been catching quite a bit the last few laps. It's not too bad considering F50 and Mio are quicker than me anyway, to be honest. Oh, gonna improve our position. 17th, early. Uh, so I probably would have finished behind them anyway. So it's mostly gonna be a battle for third place in the XO, and then seeing where that puts me overall when we get to the final stages. 16th Oh, okay, there's been a massive crash. This is the battle for the lead in the Exos now. All four of us together. <laughs> Holy moly. That might help the top guys in the regular Terreros. They might not come past us if they, we might not go past them if they've had a clean race. Very reminiscent of the iRacing race 
from Ellie in this stream. Me in fourth place with the top three right there. I'm in F50's car as well. Oh god. That was Mayo who was in the lead, right? Has he botched it on the chicane? He'd just taken back the lead. Well, it was F50 in the lead being chased by Mayo. Then they must have had a crash. It looked like they had a crash with a back marker. He said fuck in the chat. Oh, uh oh. Then he got the lead back off RBS. Then he's crashed in the chicane. <laughs> This race for the Exos has been a roller coaster. Damn. This has been some nice racing. After that crash, I didn't think I'd be in the lead at any point in the XOs again. <laughs> Holy moly. In fact, I wasn't even in the lead in the first stages of the race. Into the lead for the XOs. <laughs> and 12th place overall. Yeah, the, the top the top cars in the XOs have all had issues, so I feel like this could be a slow car winning today if they've kept it clean. Speed difference between these two. Top 10. I have come into this car a little bit. I do love it. I had no practice with it early on, so it's no surprise that I was a little dodgy in the first couple of laps, but I think I've gotten quicker as the race has gone on. I said I would, I suppose. The gap, 55 seconds to the Torero. The top Torero, I should say. Top five might still be possible. We 
They always say top five is always possible, and I always write myself off in moments like this. But you never know what other people's races have been either, I suppose. I can feel that I'm like quicker now than what I was at the start of the race. As I've sort of gotten used to the car the track a bit more. There's ninth. I'm gonna go for eighth. Almost went for eighth a bit too hard. Fifty-five, ten to forty-five. Wait, is that one lap? You were lapping 131. Was I really lapping 131? That is faster than expected. Okay. I mean, I set it to 132 for the comparison. For the 2 minutes 30 difference. And then I had actually added a bit on 4 to make it 2 minutes 30. 132 to the 140 for the Toreros was 224. And then I added a bit on to make it 230. Mistake hasn't helped. I've dropped the other XOs, surprisingly. Well, we'll just have to keep driving and see where we end up. We're getting into the closing stages. It's been a messy race. Maybe I'm not the only one who had a messy race. Well, I know I'm not the only one who's had a messy race based on what we've seen from the other exos. Big group ahead. How much of this is for position? Three cars at least. It's back marker XO. No. Oh, I had to go off road to do that. Top five. Top five is always possible, who knew? There's fourth.
This is for third, there's R2X. He was in second at one point early on. Three laps to go. Ten and twenty seconds, respectively. Oh my god. This actually might be close. Okay. Well, it's, there's the moment in a car v car where I'm amazed that it was close when it was designed to be close. <laughs> Every time. Two laps to go and there's second place. Market EXO, get out of my way, please. It's not getting out of my way, Jesus Christ. Last lap, what's the gap? Five seconds. Another back marker XO. Thank you, that's how you do it. There he is. My heart. My friggin' heart. I cannot believe that! What? 
What has happened? Best lap. Here's me saying I've got there's all these quicker guys behind me and I love that car. <laughs> I love that car so much. I knew I liked the car, but I didn't realize. <laughs> Holy moly. So we had XO regular Torero, XO XO regular Torero, XO regular? Regular? R2X was regular as well. I mean, you can tell from the lap times, the 140s are the regulars. The 131s, well, the 130s are the XOs. Holy moly, I didn't think I would get, like, best lap as well. After the crash also... Holy moly, GG's everybody for the races. <laughs> oh man. I, I, I still can't believe it. I mean, Specky saying his heart didn't need that. Like, I know exactly what he meant. That last lap, that last straight coming to the chicane, I almost botched it on the chicane. I, I was really close to the inside. And my heart was going crazy. <laughs> I was like that from lap 16. <laughs> oh man, there's nothing like a car v car that like really does that. Where you, you're chasing down so quick and but you don't exactly know quite where you're at. And it, it's getting right to the line. <sighs> it's still going now. <laughs> oh man, what a race. I, I mean, I already loved the Torero XO but that has forever cemented it as one of my favorite cars ever. <laughs>